Yo, what is up, you guys? I hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday. Because I got another one for y'all today. I don't know what I'm doing, so don't ask me. You know what? That house is redder than... October yays, yays, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but we got another one for y'all today. I hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday. I don't know if I said that or not. Man, this intro, I already could tell it's gonna be a scratchy one. But, y'all, hey, before we get into that, if you guys, if y'all didn't see the last two videos, y'all already know, man, we got the monetization thing because of y'all. You know, I love y'all and everything else. But, I don't know if that more fluff is working, man. I tried to activate him yesterday, but for some reason it still says zero. So I don't know if the ads are even playing or not. If you guys see any ads on this video at all, please let me know and say, yes, there is ads. Or if you guys do not see any at all, please let me know and tell me, no, there is not any ads. I'm really appreciate it. I'm trying to figure out all of this stuff, man. We also got a new game coming out tonight we're gonna be streaming we're gonna be trying out rust with some people it should be a good time but make sure y'all like and subscribe because we about to get into the 30 weirdest things caught on security cameras y'all already know the security camera might be getting some people doing some shushy stuff so without further ado we about to see what they doing to you this dumpster is so cool that trash flies into it by itself Wish I had one of those. Bro, I wish I had one too. I would we literally never have to do this. We do this done to this guy, but here's what happened. Damn, bro. How the... Am I tripping or how the fluff is that possible? I literally... I, I don't understand how you can even get that through your window, bitch. It just opens and closes. I can see it... You know what I'm saying? Maybe slamming on the top of your car or maybe on the front windshield. But how the fluff do you manage to get it through your car into the back windshield, bro? Just pay the $5 to park there. Just pay the $5 to park. You know what I'm saying, cuz? It's not worth it. Now, instead of... See, look at it. That boy tried to finesse and not pay the $5 to park. And now he got to pay for a new window. I promise you that big gonna be more than $5. Leave me alone. Bad barrier. This bear broke into a liquor store in Alaska and scared a customer. Imagine the oh. shock of this man when he saw a bear at the checkout. I'm amazed that this happened somewhere other than Russia. Boy hungry, man. He's trying to get tea. Imagine you leave work on a Friday night knowing that the long-awaited PlayStation 5 awaits you at home. Oh, I'll be But instead, you get stuck in an elevator Bro. all weekend. The man you're looking for at is Nicholas White, and he was trapped in an elevator for 41 hours. He had... 40... 41 hours, bro? See, that, I guarantee you that boy had the doo-doo in the elevator, and he had nothing to eat for damn near two days. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm taking the stairs from now on for the rest of my life. No food or water, <laughs> and stairs, he had bro. to use the elevator shaft as a restroom. He didn't even have a mobile phone, so I can't imagine how he survived at all. Write in the comments what you would do if you were him. Have you ever been scared that a rat can swim up your toilet? Stop well, playing, now bro. You know that it's not an urban legend. This what the fuck? Was what the fuck? I'm never taking a doo doo again, bro. Can you imagine going and taking a doo-doo on the toilet, bro? And a rat starts climbing in your booty cheeks? Oh my god! I might have a heart attack. Ooh, that's some. Ooh. I need on her way home, but she a couldn't get past the last bro. few meters of the sidewalk. The thing is, the streets are covered with very slippery ice, so she can't even crawl up the slope. I think she changed her mind about coming home today. There's literally no ice right here. We can, I can see there's no ice right here. All you got to do is walk right here. You can see, look, at this is where the ice starts. Right there on that line. Could have just walked right here. It's okay, though. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't notice stuff. A slope 120 meters wide and 100 meters high collapsed, including the roadbed of a national highway of Route 168 at Otonara, Japan. Damn, that's here just... is nah, no comment. Just watch it. 
some random dude decided to smash the window of a Renault Kangoo with a brick, and Karma came back to bite him in the face. Nice. I like that, Elon Musk. Please, Elon Musk. Hey, survived the boss fight from James Bond, but couldn't survive 2020. The iconic observatory in Puerto Rico has been destroyed after a 900-ton metal platform suspended above the telescope collapsed. This woman was just hanging out by her pool in California, but suddenly a seven-point earthquake started. Her actions? Save the phone! Fortunately, her husband heard the screams and came to her rescue from home. He took the phone and, as soon as it was safe, saved his wife from the terrible tsunami waves. Listen to how proud he is of himself. So not she couldn't have just done that herself, bro. I mean, I'm... Shout out to him for going to help, bro, but did he really have to do that? You couldn't have just stood up and went to the apartment yourself? You know what I'm saying? You know, I might be tripping, bro. I'm probably just tripping, but to me, bro, why would you just fall, sit down, and just hold your phone up, bro? That man ran over, grabbed the phone, and helped her back inside, bro. You couldn't have just held your own phone and just walked back inside. You had to get the husbo to do it. All right. In California, but suddenly a seven point earthquake started. Her actions? Save the phone. Fortunately, her husband heard the screams and came to her rescue from home. He came took to the her phone rescue, and bro. as soon as it was safe. Act, sa we really finna act like this man did anything, bro. And he came to the rescue. The rescue from what? You act like that man just jumped into a burning building. He just jumped into a building collapsing from the earthquake. From the water in the pool that she sat down in. Oh, he saved her. He saved her from an excruciating death, man. Right, she probably would have got splashed a few times. Come on now, let's not overhype this situation, bro. This is not anything... He saved her. He saved her. Saved his wife from the terrible tsunami waves. Listen okay, how proud buddy. he is of himself. Tsunami waves were coming out of the pool. Bro. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, okay. Okay, let me know. One of these waves look like a tsunami. You let me know when you see one wave that looks like a tsunami in the comments. Let me know. Because we're about to watch it. Because I, uh, last I checked, that's like a puddle wave. That's not no tsunami. Fire pool in California, but suddenly a seven point earthquake started. Her actions? Save the phone. That's not even, that's not even a beach wave, bro. That's like a, a wave pool wave. Oh, bro, let's hear this man's interview. This man about to be capping out of his butt. Her husband heard the screams and came to her rescue from home. This he took the me, phone <laughs> and as soon as it was safe, saved his wife from the terrible tsunami waves. Listen to how proud bro, he is. Bro, it's not the tsunami waves, man. Tsunami waves were coming out of the pool or hitting her. This is what happens when Bro, oh my god, bro. Puddle waves were splashing her. Let's not say the tsunami waves from the pool were hitting her. They were splashing her feet. They were splashing her feet. I don't know why this upsets me so much, bro. It's not a tsunami, bro. Let's stop capping like, like something insane just happened. Your silly girlfriend sees a girl who is more beautiful out of all, than herself. I promise you, out of all of the things that got destroyed and that happened in that 7.0 earthquake... That was probably the least interesting, bro. Oh. <laughs> Even if she's made of sand. This girl climbed onto the glass barrier just to rip off the head of the sand sculpture in the lobby of the Royal Hotel. This video Hawaiian is starting Hotel. to piss me off, bro. This video is starting to blow me. What the fuck are you doing, bro? There's clearly a barrier there for the for a reason. Why are you even trying to get over there? What are you going to do? Go in there and take a picture, man. Have some respect for the art. You know how long it probably took for them to make that? You really about to just hop the barrier and try to f get a picture for the gram? Bruh, just stay on the other side. Man, this video is starting to blow me, bro. I was having fun. Well, and no, she also pulled man. a nose off the sculpture before wobbling off the barrier while her friend recorded her. Maybe she was offended that even the sand girl has a boyfriend. Bro, that's not even funny, bro. That's literally not funny. Stop. I hate, bro, the, oh my gosh, I hate social media. 
Look at she's videotaping like this is funny. No one's gonna look at this and go ha ha ha. They're gonna think, wow, what an ass. Literally, what an ass. Friend, record. You just destroyed a sculpture for no reason that someone took weeks to make because you think you're a trend. And you guys are flexing shit for the gram, man. That's, no, that's not a flex, bro. That's not a, oh my gosh, look what I just did to this sculpture. No one's finna be like, oh, good stuff. That's not a flex, bro. That's not a trend. I literally hate social media sometimes, man. The stuff we think is a trend. Like, bro, not everything is a trend. Like, the Gorilla Glue in your hair? Yeah, it's not a trend. Don't put Gorilla Glue in your hair. You're not getting free stuff. Stop. Let's stop. Dinner. Maybe she was offended that even the Sand Girl has a boyfriend. I think it would be fair to lock her up and only release her when she makes an exact replica of the Sand Sculpture. This girl decided to surprise her boyfriend and dance on the table. What could possibly go wrong? Now while this girl was falling, a 140 meter bridge fell in Taiwan. Oh my! This worker's the luckiest man ever, and here's why. He had just dodged a stream of molten metal at a temperature of 1,200 degrees Celsius. Damn! He would have got paid. These two just took the elevator together, and the guy annoys the girl the whole way. But when the door opened, the girl took revenge on him. Damn! That's embarrassing, bruh. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> that man started pressing all the buttons and then was going to dip. Bruh. You are an L for that, my boy. She literally just suplexed your ass back into the elevator. See, that's funny, man. She said, nope, now you can take all these when flights. The door opened, the girl took revenge on him. She definitely got brothers, bro. She just whipped your ass. This random guy was just walking down the street, and suddenly a street cat attacked him and knocked him man, down. That's why with cats one suck, bro. I'm sorry. I hate hey, man, cats. You need to hit the gym in case you get attacked by a raccoon next time. Fuck! <laughs> When this girl's boss left early, she decided to relax. But, oh, she took it a little too far. In Russia, a crow stole a wallet right out of somebody's backpack. Maybe it had been trained to do this. Or is this just an ordinary day in like, Russia? Like, look, bro, this is why Fluffin hates social media. This is why I hate social Fluffin media. One couple recording. Two couple recording. Bro, go stop the bird from taking the wallet. Oh my gosh, is that it? Like, why, why, what is with everybody's recording shit, bro? I don't understand why everybody thinks stuff is a, stuff you gotta record. How about instead of recording, go help the situation? Y'all literally are watching the bird steal someone's wallet. And instead of, I don't know, maybe stopping that, y'all all just pull your phones out and start recording it. Social media is so blech sometimes, been trained man. to do this, or is this just an ordinary day in Russia? Let us know what you think in the comments. Here's how another random guy in Russia got himself a girlfriend on February 14th. Okay. Happy Valentine's Wait a minute. Day. Oh, damn. Me got a baby girl. So truck could have been an ordinary collision if it weren't for... <laughs> Holy cow. Oops, uh, looks like some people are gonna wind up without hamburgers. The container held a total of 31 cows, and not even one was hurt. Thanks to the collision with Lucky Joe's Liquor Store, they all got a second chance on life. Keep an eye on this man. He'll disappear in three, two, one, boom. See how this guy on the motorcycle's watching his every move? Maybe it was a prank that his friends set up. What do you think? Some random couple decides to catch their nanny on camera. And this is what they saw. While the baby was sleeping, the nanny decided to wash her clothes in the owner's washer. To pass the time, she worked out a bit and even played the new Assassin's Creed. When she started to clean the windows, the neighbors certainly enjoyed that. But the owners will definitely not enjoy what they saw. Seems like she'll be fired. She put on their clothes? Are you worried about a dog chewing your new sn- Bro. Oh, really, man? You really gotta put on their clothes? See, you were Gucci until you put on their clothes, man. That's just disrespectful. 
sneakers? Dogs almost oh. ate this guy's car. The thing is, there's a cat under the hood, and dogs smelled it. I wonder how the owner explained to the insurance company what happened to his bumper. Damn, bro. Itself. Imagine saying your car got ripped apart by a gang of dogs. This deer chose an unusual way of boarding the bus. It leaped in right through the windshield. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Bro, just chill, cuz. Just calm down. Look at this bear. He's already living in 3020. Instead of hunting, he made a deal with a restaurant in Colorado and is helping to. <laughs> He's like, I got y'all. Bears have a job now, man. But seriously, this isn't the first time that. That boy be watching too much over the hedge, bro. That boy taking all the TV doing it. And this looks like a bug from Cyberpunk 2077 in real life. But this video is not a fake, and there's an explanation for what happened. So what happened here was a steel cable coming out of the cleaning truck which put all the other cars on a standstill. This girl told her husband that now she was working remotely and he had nothing to worry about. But he decided to make sure of that for himself and asked for help from Vika Trap, who tests people's loyalty to their partners. She placed hidden cameras on their apartment and here's what he saw. This girl is clearly in no mood for work. She's arranging a date with another man right inside their house. Soon, the other man arrives, and he's obviously not just a friend. Male friends don't usually give massages while the husband's at work. Soon, they hear the husband coming home from work, and the other man tries to hide. It doesn't go quite according to plan, though. Hide and seek is over. You can find a link for a full version of this epic video in the description. All I know is if I ever get a wife, bro, you best believe I'm doing a loyalty test on her, man. You guys, y'all got to do a loyalty test on anybody y'all date, man. You got to know, you know what I'm saying? You got to know if they there for you or, you know what I'm saying, they there for whatever you about. You guys got to figure that out, man. I feel like a loyalty test is the best way to do that. This windmill has not withstood the continuous strong wind and decided to self-destruct. I'm Wait, done. I quit. The Kino Proby production studio decided to shoot a video in the subway and it had to be exclusive. But the actors got caught on CCTV cameras. And you know what? From CCTV cameras, it looks even better. Well then, enough for today. We have many more incredible- Hey man, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We definitely had some weird clips, some crazy clips, some clips that blew me. But hey, overall, I definitely think that was a great video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. And we got a lot of stuff coming out, you guys. Like I said, 2020 is going to be our year. We're going to be working hard. And we're going to be going far. Make sure you guys, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going, y'all. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, if you guys could please let me know about the ads. It would really, really help me out. I'm trying to figure out how to do all this so we can keep moving forward on the road to 1.5k so like and subscribe for me y'all have an amazing day go do something great and deuces